You're now listening to WPRS 94.7, the hottest radio station around. There have been crazy stories in the past holiday season of abduction. Yes, you heard it, abduction. So everyone, please drive home safely and stay tuned for more on WPRS 94.7. What the fuck, Brit? Oh, lighten up. How was your test? I don't know. I swear that professor loves putting material on there that was barely covered this year. Yeah, that's why I went straight for the money. How can you determine somebody's worth over four years of college? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I already stopped by the house. The bags are in the trunk, so we're good to go. You have an incoming Brittany. call. Brittany. To answer a call, push your voice command button. Oh, fuck, what? Mom is calling. Then answer it then, you're her favorite. All right, let's rock, paper, scissors for it. Fine. Ready? Hold on. Okay. You have an incoming call. Ah, shit. Da. Push the button. <sighs> hey, Mom. Hey, baby. Did you and your sister leave yet? Yeah, we left a while ago. That's good. I'll see y'all when y'all get here. By the way, is Brittany bringing that boyfriend of hers? If he's coming, he better act like he has some sense this time. <sighs> no, Mom. He's not coming. And we broke up a while ago. Could you please let it go? Fine. I'm just saying, your taste in men is just questionable. Okay, see y'all when y'all get here. Love you. Call ended. <clears throat> what? Nothing? Oh no! You look like you have something to say, so you might as well just go ahead and say it. Look, I told you I had suspicions about Kurt, but did you listen to me? No. You know what? Last time I checked, it was not against the law to date someone that you were attracted to. We just want to protect you. Right, okay. Well, you know what? I can take care of myself. Thank you. Mm. What are you doing? Drive straight! Something is wrong with the car. I have to go over. Oh, jeez. Okay, what do you think's wrong with it? Well, I'm not much of a mechanic, but I don't, I don't know. Well, that's not helpful. I'll call roadside assistance. You tell mom what happened. I'm not getting any service. And 4G coverage my ass. Sure you done anything? No. This is supposed to be the best phone out on the market right now, and yet I can't get any service. Let's just wait for cars to drive by. Maybe someone will help us. <laughs> okay. You ladies okay? Actually, we're having car trouble. Our engine stopped working. We could use your help. Well, I'm not much of a mechanic, but uh, I don't live too far from here. If you want, you can use my house phone.
Come on in. Make yourself at home. Thank you for helping us. We really appreciate it. Glad to help. You're like family. Can I get you something to eat? Oh, something to drink would be very nice. We just want to call our mom. Where's your phone? It's down the hall to the lot. Thanks. So, uh, give me a second. I'll be right back with your drink. Pleasure. Glad to help. I was surprised to see you two out there alone. Well, we were on our way home for Thanksgiving dinner and the car started acting up. I love family dinners around the holidays. So why aren't you with your family? <laughs> Me and my family are not on friendly terms, but we are working something out. <laughs> yeah, sounds like always so critical of every decision I make. Who knew we had so much in common? What made you decide to be a taxidermist? Growing up, I was the black sheep of my peers. Making friends was not a God-given gift of mine. My room was my safe haven. I grew up with animals. I realized that the love they gave me meant more than what any human could give. My animal companions would not live forever. But I couldn't let them go. Now I am never alone. And I never have to say goodbye to the ones I love. Because they're forever with me. I'm with you. so critical of every decision I make. Who knew we had so much in common?
The darkness has spelled the light. Oh. oh, I know. I know. It's scary outside. I don't need to protect you. <laughs> oh. No harm will come to you. No harm. Hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> You're in luck. There's a feast waiting for you. Let me get you fixed up real quick. So glad to be here with my family. <laughs> now we can finally enjoy Thanksgiving dinner together. All right, let's pray. Lord, thank you for my friends, Bob and Leon. Leon, pray. Bob. And our new family members, Brittany and Chelsea. Bless this food for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. 